Hi, everyone. Hello. Hello, Miss. Hi, teacher. Hi, good evening. Welcome. Hi, right, everyone. Good evening, Hi. Beatrice. Welcome, bienvenidos. All right, thank you. Um, you're welcome, honey. And uh, today we have the date, which is Tuesday, February twenty first, two thousand twenty three. All right, we are still in section number four. All right, today and tomorrow we are going to continue with section four. Tanto este día como mañana, vamos a continuar con la sección 4. Pero mañana también vamos a iniciar la 5, right? So, we better work on it. Así que, más nos vale que trabajemos en eso para no atrasarnos. Now, let's check. Whose jeans are these? Class 12. Let's check. Do you remember? Vaya, ustedes saben, conocen perfectamente que en mi clase siempre vamos a tener una categoría que se llama se recuerdan, all right? Y esto es para valorar, para ver cómo estamos y recordamos el contenido que aprendimos el día de ayer, all right? So let's check. Vamos a preguntarle. So Melvin, mention at least three possessive adjectives, please. Only three, thank you. All right, everyone, let's follow the instructions. All right, thank you, Melvin. Thank you, thank you. All right, eh, yo, yo entiendo y sé que ustedes ya se lo pueden. All right, ya los manejan. Very good. Pero sigamos la instrucción, porque si yo pido three, es porque quiero que alguien más también participe. All right, so. Como me decían a mí cuando estábamos en el colegio, atienda el verbo, all right? So ask what is been asked, all right? Answer what is been asked. Hagamos lo que se nos piden las instructions. Let's go with Elisa. Tell me another another three possessive adjectives, please. Hi, Miss. Eh, no estuve ayer en clase, pero estuve viendo los, el video. Uh -huh. Y es yours, is, ours. Repeat, hers. Hers. All right. Vaya, pero ese no es possessive adjective. Esos son possessive pronouns. Uh, adjectives. Todavía estoy en los possessive adjectives. Uh, it's, ours, they. There. Very good. En el possessive adjective, Elisa, no llevamos la S. El único que lleva la S son el it's, el yours, ¿Y cuál es el otro? El his. De ahí todos los demás no llevan ese en los possessive adjectives, all right? Okay. Thank you, Miss Romero. Let's go with number two. Mention at least three possessive pronouns. Let's ask Diego. Let me hear you, Diego. Okay. My, yours, and his. That's correct. Lleven en mente. Mine, yours, and his. Thank you. Fatima Ramirez, tell me another three possessive pronouns. Dígame otros tres, please. Okay. Her, it, ours. Very good. Excellent. We are missing two. Nos hace falta, nos hace falta uno. Let's check. Vicky, ¿cuál es el que nos hace falta? Um, theirs. That's correct. Thank you, Vicky. Very good. You were paying attention. Let's go with number three. Mention at least three subject pronouns. So let's check Fatima Jovel. Tell me three subject pronouns that you remember. Your mic, Fatima. Su micrófono. Sorry, Miss, I don't remember. Okay, se le apagó el micrófono de nuevo. No sé si es que no tiene la respuesta o el internet le falla. 
Beatriz Enriquez, tell me three post three, no, I'm sorry, three subject pronouns. I, you, he, he. Very good, excellent. Hey, Brian, please tell me another three subject pronouns. She, it, and we. That's correct. Thank you. Now, let's check. El día de ayer estuvimos trabajando con sentences al final de la clase. Do you remember? ¿Se recuerda? Sí sé que pasaron algunas personas, pero me se me olvida rápido lo que vemos un día antes, all right? O sea, ¿quiénes me colaboran el día antes? Today we are going to pass again, right? Quizás algunos de ustedes van a pasar de regreso. So let me check. Let's listen to Susana Sánchez, please. Dígame las oraciones que trabajó ayer, Susana, please. Ok. This is her child. The shell is hers. Yes. Uh, this is my cat. This cat is mine. Bravo, Susana. Clever. Miren, ve, Susana. Como no la conozco, Susana, I don't know how you are. <laughs> right? Pero qué bueno. Fue muy clever. La misma que hizo con el possessive adjective la convirtió luego en possessive pronoun, porque eso sí se puede hacer, all right? Because it's basically the same. Siempre estamos hablando de posesión. Let's listen to Claudia Flores, please. Pronouns, me dijo, ¿verdad? No, las oraciones que hicieron ayer, Claudia, al final de la clase. These pants are yours. These shoes are mine. All right. Esas son con los possessive pronouns y con los possessive adjectives. This is our garden. Uh -huh. This is our garden. This is your camera. This is your camera. Very good, Claudia. Thank you. Rolando, let me hear you. Okay. Eh, possessive adjective is I like her car. Uh -huh. he, I, I want to buy their house. Ay, it's very good. I want to buy their house. Y con los possessive pronouns. Ah, con los possessive pronouns de quiero ver. These these shoes are mine. Uh -huh. Y this this cell phone is yours. Very good, Rolando. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go. Let's listen to. Vamos a pedirle a. Beatriz, please, let me hear your sentences. La escucho, Beatriz. These boots are his. This cell phone is your. And these are your boots. These are earrings. Excellent. Thank you, Beatriz. That's correct. All right, everyone. Melvin, please, tell me your sentences. This is your house. These are your cups. Very good, Melvin. Excellent. Thank you. That's correct. Melvin, you always work excellent your sentence, right? Siempre trabaja muy bien sus oraciones. Now let's go, everyone, with the next one. Vamos con lo siguiente. Hay algunos alumnos a los que no les he preguntado, por ejemplo, Alfredo Ramírez, eh, Elias, porque sé que no estuvieron ayer. Jocelyn, creo, si no mal recuerdo, no estuvo ayer en la clase. So, a no ser que hayan visto la recording, tienen idea de qué estamos hablando. Right? Elias, excelente. Eh, no pude estar en la clase, pero bueno, estuve viendo los videos y hice la, las dos oraciones. Uh -huh. My car is red. Uh -huh. Yes. Our television is old. Ours. Uh -huh. Yes, very good. Um, this, this jacket is mine. Mm -hmm. And this notebook 
is ours. Bravo, Elias. Congratulations. Excelente, Elias. Right? Así es como podemos notar. Elisa también ayer me escribió en la noche diciéndome que no iba a estar presente, pero que iba a ver las recordings, las grabaciones. Excelente, right? Los felicito a ambos, Elias y Elisa. Porque a pesar que no estuvieron, han trabajado las, las activities. Elisa, let me hear you. La escucho, Elisa. This is your backpack. Uh -huh. Y this backpack is yours. Uh -huh. These are your chairs. Uh -huh. Y these chairs are yours. All right, pero las cuatro me las hizo con yours. Utilizó el mismo subject, básicamente, right? El mismo possessive adjective y el mismo possessive pronoun. El mismo. El están excelentes, no se preocupe, right? Están excelentes, pero tratemos de variar un poco, right? Si no, no vamos a salir de nuestra zona de confort. Very good, okay. Elisa. La felicito. Thank you. All right, everyone, let's check. Vamos a practicar con los possessive pronouns. Brian Ventura, please tell me the instructions. Read. Read the sentences and choose the correct possessive pronoun to fill in the blank. Mm -hmm. That's correct. All right. So work on this three. Trabajemos en estas tres. I'm going to give you like one minute. Voy a darles un minuto. Quiero esas sentences completas en su cuaderno, right? Porque si no, después se les olvida de qué eran esas respuestas. Y este vocabulary para ustedes. Aquí tienen los possessive pronouns, right? We have ours, theirs, yours, his, hers, its, and mine, right? Voy a dejarlos con esta práctica un minutito. I'll be right back. Ya regreso, ¿ok? Cuando regrese voy a cambiar la lámina. I'll be right back. Let me know whenever you're finished.
Okay, so I think you're ready, all right? Let me know. Me avisan, please, si ya finalizaron con esta parte para pasar a la siguiente práctica, que es la continuación de esta. Done. Great. Vaya. Solo veo ahí unas caritas copiando. No necesitan copiar los pasos y pronombres de nuevo, porque eso ya lo copiaron ayer. Ok. So let's move on. Let's continue working on this, please. Okay, have you finished this one? Or you want one more minute? Finish. Very good, Fatima, excellent. Entonces vamos a esperar un minutico más a que terminen sus compañeros, Fatima. Finish. Very good, Diego, excellent. All right, I think we may start. ¿Quiénes más han finalizado? Solo Diego 
¿Y Fátima o los demás también? Finish. Very good, Jocelyn. Vicky también ya finalizó. So, it's most of the population. So, let's check. Let's go back to this one. So, let me listen to Vicky, number one, please. My aunt Lucy has a red car. The red car is hers. That's correct. Thank you. Very good. Now, let's check. ¿Cómo sabemos que vamos a utilizar hers? Brian, le pregunto. ¿Cómo sabemos que vamos a utilizar hers? Eh, sabemos que vamos a utilizar hers eh, debido al nombre. Por el nombre, me imagino. Uh -huh. yeah. The subject pronoun. Exactly. Uh -huh. Exactly. Because of the subject. Es lo que veíamos ayer en el cuadrito, right? Si usted tiene eh, she, en este caso, como dijo Brian, está sustituido por el noun, es decir, el nombre, que sería Lucy, pero usted sabe que eso es lo mismo que un subject pronoun. Por ende, sabe cuál es el possessive adjective, que el possessive pronoun que va a utilizar. Let's go with Jocelyn, number two, please. Your microphone, Jocelyn. Bo has a smell puppy. It is your puppy. All right. All right, let's check. Veamos, Diego, what you got in number two. It is my puppy. All right. Are you Bob? ¿Es usted Bob? <laughs> no. Exactly. Let's check. Uh -huh. Brian? Uh, Bob has a small puppy. It is his puppy. That's correct. De nuevo, everyone. Chequeamos el subject, all right? El subject nos va a decir a quién le pertenece el puppy. All right? A quién le pertenece el cachorrito. All right? Gracias al subject podemos identificar cuál es el possessive pronoun que tenemos que utilizar. All right? And let's go with the next one. Let me listen to Patty Majovel, number three, please. John and I. John and I live in a big house. The house is ours. That's correct. Excellent. Very good. Let's check. Veamos. Le pregunto a Fatima Ramírez. ¿Por qué utilizamos ours y no theirs? Es porque se refiere a nuestro. Indeed, exactly. I'm include. Yo voy incluida en el convito, right? Very good, Fatima. Excellent. Yay. Now let's check number four. Melvin, please. Number four. Peter and Wendy. Peter and Wendy have pretty flowers. The flowers are there. Un poquito más alto, Melvin, porque no le escucho, to be honest. Peter, Peter and Wendy have pretty flowers. The flowers are there. There's very good, excellent, thank you. Let's check y preguntemos el análisis a Lucía. Lucía, ¿por qué utilizamos theirs en vez de ours? Eh, creo que según entiendo, porque de ellos, algo así, quiere referirse a ellos. Sí. Estoy yo incluida sí. ahí, en ese grupo, Lucía. ¿Está usted eh, incluida ahí? Creo que no. Exacto. No. Right? no, you're not. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Definitivamente no, Lucía, right? No okay. está incluida, pero suponiendo que yo fuera Wendy, entonces uh -huh. yo estoy incluida. Se vuelven sí. ellos, right? Okay. Como dijo Melvin, theirs. Okay. Thank you, Lucía. Let's check Pero... number five. Um... Rolando, please, number five. I am. Okay. 
eh, I am marking as not Noxman. Snowman. Snowman. It it's not Snowman is there. All right. Thank you, Rolando. Veamos, chequemos. Wendy Salguero, what you got? ¿Qué tiene usted por ahí? Number five. Sorry, me acabo de conectar. Que acabo ah, de llegar. Okay. Don't worry. No se preocupe, Wendy. Welcome. Veamos, Beatriz Enríquez, what you got in number five? ¿Qué tiene la número cinco? I am making snow. Snow. The snow is mine. Exactly. The snowman is mine. Teacher, pero ¿cómo sabemos que tengo que utilizar mine? Veamos. Eh, Vicky, explíqueme. ¿Por qué utilizamos mine y no your? Porque estamos utilizando I am. Exacto. Exactly, that's correct. First person singular, primera persona singular. Thank you, Vicky. All right, let's go with number six, Alfredo Ramirez. Uh, you have a uh, lot of presents. The presents are ours. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Alfredo. Claudia Flores, tell me number six. Dígame la número seis, please. Solo la respuesta o toda. Toda. You have lots of present. The present are yours. Yours. Excellent. Thank you. Yours. That's correct. Thank you, Claudia. Bueno, ¿cómo sabemos, eh, Jocelyn, que tengo que utilizar yours y no mine or hers? Porque estamos hablando de, de tú, de ellos, de, ajá, de él, digamos. Ajá. Suyo. Very good. Suyo. Excellent. Thank you. Y tenemos el subject pronoun you. All right. Algunas que están bien fáciles de, de completar porque tiene el subject pronoun you. Siempre les voy a recomendar que vean las grabaciones. All right. Si ustedes no se pudieron conectar un día a la clase, vean las recordings. Mi deber como docente es grabar la clase y subirla. Y yo me apuesto tarde subiéndola. Así que lo menos que espero es que los que no se conectan la vean. Porque si no el siguiente día, mm -mm, you won't understand. No vamos a comprender. Let's go with number seven, Cristian Elias. The kitten. The, the kitten has a new toy. This is it. Toy. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, Elaya. This is its toy. Very good. A kitten. All right. Repeat Elaya's kitten. Kitten. Yes. O también puede decir kitten. Si se le kitten. hace más fácil con la R. Okay. Kitten es británico. Kitten es americano. <laughs> right. Uh, let's check. Kitten or kitten is gatito. All right, es decir, la, la cría de un gato. All right. Now, let's check. Utilizamos it's porque ¿quién es el subject pronoun, Diego? ¿Quién es el sujeto del pronombre en la oración? El kitten. Uh -huh. Exactly, the kitten, all right. Now, you might find out. Puede que usted diga, teacher, pero mire, eh, it's no me suena. Recuerden que a veces sí conocemos el género de los animalitos. All right? Entonces, si es ella, podemos utilizar el hers. Si es él, podemos utilizar el, el his. All right? Um, por ejemplo, my cat's favorite toy is his, I don't know, his what? His chicken. El juguete favorito de mi gato es su gallinita. All right? No tengo gatos, no me gustan los gatos, right? Pero, pero, estoy diciendo 
específicamente el género del gatito, entonces puedo utilizarlo. Pero en este caso no lo conocemos, por ende, solo asumimos y utilizamos el it, como lo hizo Elias. Very good. Now, my friends, los felicito, right? Han hecho un excelente trabajo. Vamos con el vocabulary. Quería ponerles el video de la plataforma, eh, pero pues no me carga la plataforma. Estaba viendo el chat de los docentes y todos están diciendo lo mismo, que no les carga la plataforma. Eh, no sé si a ustedes les pasó eso ayer o ahora, pero ya, yeah, we're having issues over there. Así que vamos a ir de un solo con el vocabulary. So, it's a spring in Brazil. It's a spring in Brazil. It's warm. It's very sunny. It's summer in Korea. It's raining. It's hot and humid. It's fall in the U.S. No me vayan a decir USA. Ahí no tenemos A. All right? Solo es U.S. It's fall in the U.S. It's cool, it's cloudy and windy. It's winter in Russia. It's just snowing, it's very cold. All right? Copien solo the keywords. Quiero que copien solo el vocabulario necesario. I don't need you to copy everything. No necesito que copien todo. ¿Cuál es el vocabulario necesario? A spring. Summer. Warm. Sunny. Raining, hot, humid, fall, cool, cloudy, windy, winter, snowing, and cold. Right? Only that vocabulary. Solo ese vocabulario. Right? Now it's your turn to practice the vocabulary. Let's get started. We are going to start with Alfredo Ramirez. Please tell me the first two. Me va a leer solo las primeras dos. The spring is summer, warm, sunny, raining, hot, and humid. Pero las oraciones completas, all right? Action. Okay. okay. Uh, it's spring in Brazil. Um, it's warm. It's very sunny. It's summer in Korea. It's raining. It's hot and humid. That's correct. Let's go with the next one. Melvin, please. U.S. and Russia. It's far in the U.S. It's cold. It's cold. It's cloudy and windy. It's windy in Russia. It's snowy. It's very cold. That's correct. Thank you. Beatriz Enriquez, Brazil and Korea. It's spring in Brazil. It's warm. It's very sunny. It's sunny in Korea. It's rain. It's hot and humid. All right, Hector. Thank you. Um, Susana Sanchez, U.S. and Russia, please. Um, it's all in the U.S. It's cold, it's cloudy and windy. It's winter in Russia. It's snowing. It's very cold. Excellent. Thank you. Brian, please. Brazil and U.S. It's a spring in Brazil. It's warm. It's very sunny. Korea, me dijo. No, U.S. Uh, it's fall uh, in the U.S. It's cool. It's cloudy and windy. 
Thank you. Rolando Hernandez, Korea and Russia. Okay. Yes. It is. It is fall in the U.S. It no, is called... Korea and Russia. Ah, okay, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. It is summer in Korea. 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 It is the rain. It is rain. It's rain. Hot. Rain is how and. No. Human. Human. It is winter in Russia. It is snowing. It is very cold. Excellent. Thank you. It's very cold. Jocelyn, okay. Brazil and Russia. It says it's spring in Brazil. It's warm, it's very sunny, it's winter in Russia, it's snowing, it's very cold. Thank you. Diego, Korea and U.S. Uh, it's summer in Korea, it is raining, it is hot and humid. It's fall in U.S., it's cold, it, it's cloudy and windy. Thank you. Elias, Russia and Brazil. It's winter in Russia. It's snowing. It's very cold. It's spring in Brazil. It's warm. It's very sunny. Repeat, Brazil. Brazil. Excellent. Thank you. And let me check Elisa, please. Elisa Romero. US and Korea. Each fall is the US. It's cold. It's cloudy and windy. 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 Uh, it's summer is Korea. It's rain, raining, raining. It's hot and humid. Humid. Yeah. Yes. All right. So, thank you, Elisa. Explico esto. A spring, summer, fall, and winter son seasons, temporadas, seasons. Mientras que warm, sunny, raining hot and humid, cool, cloudy and windy, snowing and cold, are weather. Todas esas son el clima, weather. All right, it's different. Es diferente, no es lo mismo. Temporadas son unas, clima es otra, right? So, let's move on. We had a conversation. Tenemos una conversación. Diego, do you have a question? Yes, sorry. Fall is uh, otoño. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thanks. Very good. Welcome. Right? So let's go. Vaya, voy a leerla. Vamos a cambiar la dinámica ahora ya que no tenemos el audio. Voy a leer la conversation. It's very cold. Les voy a dar un minuto para que usted la lea en su mente. Como está solo, puede practicarlo usted solo. Y después vamos a pasar con las parejas, ¿ok? So, oh no, what's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't, isn't warm. And I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. Vean el TH. Thanks, Julie. All right. No decimos thanks. Thanks. Thanks, Julie. Very good. 
preguntas en el vocabulary teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia? ¿Globes o globs? Ahorita pueden hacerlo porque los voy a dejar solo un minutito. ¿Todo el vocabulary is clear? ¿Toda la pronunciación está completa? ¿Está clara? Teacher, la penúltima de Pat. Wearing. ¿O cuál? No me diga penúltima, dígame la un solo. Eh, toda la, la corazón. Desde aquí. But sí. my coat. Sí. Ah. But my coat isn't warm. Isn't warm. I'm not wearing boots. I'm not wearing boots. Right? Isn't warm. Wearing boots. No me van a decir boots. No, boots. Boots. All right? Another one. Otra? All right. Teacher, yes. uh, la segunda de Juliet. What's the y el otro? What's the matter? Marin. What's the matter? Check de nuevo. ¿Qué pasa? What's the matter? All right. So I'm going to give you the minute. I'll be right back. Voy a darles el minuto, all right? En eso, voy a hacer una cosita que tengo que hacer and I'll be right back. I'm going to turn off my camera. Voy a apagar mi cámara. I'll be right back. All right, so let's get started. Let me have, vamos a tener a Wendy Padilla, please. You are Path, usted va a ser Path. Brian Ventura, creo que es. You are Julie, action. Okay, I am Julie, or Path. Uh, oh no. What's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they are some. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat is isn't warm and I'm not wearing a bow. Boots. No. Boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thank you, Lee. Bravo, excellent. Good pronunciation, both of you. Qué buena pronunciación a ambos, all right? Rhythm and fluency. ¿Qué estoy buscando en esta conversation? Que tengan un buen rhythm, que tengan un buen ritmo. Es decir, que no vayan, oh, no. What's the matter? No. Tengan un buen ritmo, right, chispa? Y al mismo tiempo que tengan buena fluidez, and that's what you have achieved, all right? Y eso es lo que ustedes han cumplido. Thank you. Let's go with the next pair. Vamos con la siguiente pareja. Wendy Salguero, you are Path. Diego Valdez, you are Julie. Action. Oh, no. What's the matter? It's so snowing, and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they are at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't wear, and I'm not wearing but. Okay, let's take a take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. 
Excellent. Thank you. All right. Listen up. Hmm. Dije, no vayan a decir bots. Y las dos personas que pasaron me dijeron bots. All right. So let's be careful. Seamos cuidadosos. Si existe esa otra palabra que yo les acabo de decir. All right. Y no es lo que ustedes creen. Así que let's be careful. Seamos cuidadosos. Que no es lo mismo decir bots que decir la otra palabra. Ok. So let's be careful. Let's go with the feedback. El feedback es lo que yo les digo al final de, la, de cuando ustedes presentan, right? Dale, great job, good intonation, good rhythm, same as Wendy. Good intonation, good rhythm, and fluency, right? Both of you were respecting the punctuation marks. Ambos respetaron los signos de puntuación también. When you needed exclamation, you used it. Cuando necesitaron exclamación, lo utilizaron. When you needed question, you used it as well. Cuando necesitaban pregunta, lo utilizaron de igual manera. Very good. Let's go with Fatima Jovel. You are Pat. Elias, you are Julie. Action. Oh, no. What is tomorrow? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they are at home. Well, you are wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Jules. Excellent, thank you, very good, great job. Excellent, both of you respecting the punctuation marks and also respecting the rhythm and the time. Ahora también estoy considerando los signos de puntuación, símbolos, right, whatever you want to call it, como quieran llamarlos, y el tiempo que se tarda en la conversation, right, porque ya casi finalizamos el curso y ustedes tienen que llevar cierto ritmo al siguiente curso, okay? Let's go with the next one. Claudia Pineda, you are Pat. Lucia Beatriz, you are Julie. Action. Oh, no. What's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing? No, they are home. Well, you wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm. Um, I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julia. Bravo. Thank you, both of you. Excellent. Oh, no. Very good, Claudia. There you go. Solo, de nuevo, me dijeron bots. Lo repito, it's not bots. All right? Other than that, we're correct. Después de eso, no hay ningún mistake. All right? Teacher, mire, y ahora, ¿por qué si nos está diciendo los errores? Repito, ya vamos a finalizar el curso. Y ahora sí depende de que ustedes conozcan cuáles son sus mistakes. Porque de, de los errores aprendemos. Y si yo me quedo toda la vida solo diciéndole, yeah, excellent, y nunca les digo cuál es el problema, no lo vamos a mejorar. Right? Y al final, ni yo me acredito como excelente docente, ni ustedes se acreditan como excelentes alumnos. Let's go with the next one. Vamos con lo siguiente. Eh, Jocelyn Ramírez, you are path. Mm. Melvin Adonai, you are Julie. Action. Oh, no. What's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cool. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they, they're at home. Where are you wearing your coat? But my coat isn't warm and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's Thanks, pay Julie. a taxi. Thanks, Julie. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. Let's go with Rolando Hernandez, I think is his last name, and Susana Sanchez. Rolando, you are Pat. Susana, you are Julie. Action. Okay. Oh, no. What's the matter? It's an annoying and the it is very cool. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they are at home. Well, you are waiting your coat? 
put my cause is not where I am not wearing books. Okay, uh, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. That's correct. Very good. Thank you, both of you. Ahora, let's check the pronunciation, all right? I know that I'm missing some people. Sé que por ahí me hacen falta algunos como Elisa, all right? And let me check who else. ¿Quién más me falta? Let me check. Let me check. Alfredo. I think he's the other one. Creo que es el otro, right? Ya los voy a pasar. Solo aquí, all right? No es lo mismo decir waiting que wearing. En clases pasadas vimos este verbo, wear, que significa vestir. Entonces, es el equivalente que tenemos cuando estamos hablando de ropa, nosotros en español decimos usar, right? Pero el equivalente que tenemos en inglés es wear. Aquí está en ing, entonces se pronuncia wearing. No decimos wearing, wearing no. Si usted me dice wearing, me está diciendo boda. Este es wearing, wearing. Si usted me dice waiting, con T, me está diciendo esperando. Es otro verbo. We have words that sound similar. Tenemos palabras que suenan similar. Por eso es súper esencial que prestemos atención a la pronunciation. Now, let's go with the last pair. Vamos con la última pareja que sería eh, Lisa Romero, please. You are Pat. Usted va a ser Pat. And Alfredo Ramírez, you are Julie. Action. Okay. Oh no. Uh, what's the matter? It is snowing and it's very cool. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they are at home. Well, you are wearing your coat. But my coat is warm and I am not wearing boots. Okay, uh, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julia. Excellent. Thank you, both of you. Now, Elisa, repeat after me. Isn't. Isn't. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. The main point of this conversation. ¿Cuál era el punto clave de esta conversation, queridos participantes? Llegamos a mi tema favorito. Present continuous. All right. Presente continuo. Porque la mayoría de veces estamos hablando en present continuous. All right. So, it says... We use present continuous or present progressive. Miren, ustedes lo pueden encontrar en los libros como present continuous y en internet como present progressive. Es lo mismo. Ambas son acciones progresivas o continuas. All right? So, we use present continuous or we use present progressive whenever you want to talk about an action that is in progress or is happening right now. Cuando usted quiere hablar de una acción que está en progreso o está sucediendo en el momento que está hablando. Elias, read the information, please. Déjame la información de nuevo. Present continue. We ask present continue or present progressive whenever you want to, to talk about an action that that is in progress or is happening right now. Excellent. Elias, ¿qué se le hace más fácil decir a usted? Talk o decir talk? Talk. Exactly. ¿Por qué cree? Porque esa es la pronunciation, right? Esa es la pronunciación correcta, Elias. Talk. Talk. De este verbo, you want to talk. No decimos la L. Thank you, Elias. Let's listen to Beatriz Enriquez. Please read the information. Leame la información, Beatriz, de nuevo. We do use the present continuous or present progressive whenever you want to talk about an action that is in progress or is happening right now. That's correct. Thank you. So, let's check. Just to end this up. Ya para casi finalizar la clase voy a hacer esto, right? I'm wearing shoes. Permítanme, voy a sacar mi puntero. Ash. Spotlight. I'm wearing shoes. 
You're wearing shoes. She's wearing shoes. We're wearing shoes. They're wearing shoes. It's snowing. Teacher, ¿por qué al it's no le puso wearing shoes? Porque recuerden que it significa eso. Entonces, no puedo decir eso está usando botas. Makes no sense. Eso está usando zapatos. No tiene sentido decir eso, right? Entonces, aquí ellos le cambian eh, el contexto, el contexto, right? Y ya le ponen otra action. Snow, ¿qué significa nieve? Ahora pasa a ser nevando, snowing. It's snowing, está nevando. Right? Now, let's get to the last one. Vamos a la siguiente. I'm not wearing boots. You are not wearing boots. You aren't wearing boots. She's not wearing boots. She isn't wearing boots. We're not wearing boots. We aren't wearing boots. They are not wearing boots. They aren't wearing boots. It's not raining. It isn't raining. All right, my dear students, as I told you, como les dije, eh, mañana vamos a continuar con este tema. Nos vamos a expandir un poquito más para que podamos comprender, all right? So that's pretty much it for today's class. It has been a pleasure to be with you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Take Thank care. Bye. 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 B